Hey y'all, it's Sarah Sunshine. Today we're talking Tachydromus sexlionatus, or AKA the Asian grass lizard, six stripe long tail, or simply long tail lizard. The star of this video is actually named long tail. They originate from Southeast Asia and Southern Russia. These lizards are arboreal. Hmm, so why do we call them grass lizards? Oh well, that's for a different time, I suppose. They've even been seen jumping into the air to catch flying insects. These guys are diurnal, meaning they're like us. They play during the day. Notice his tail. This species tail actually takes up to 80% of its size. That's three times its body length from snout to vent. Males and females look similar. The difference being males possess preanal pores. It can be identified by the light brown coloration with the distinctive dark brown line running down both lengths of his body, and of course, by the tail. On average, they grow to 12 centimeters. That's one foot, with the majority being tail. They possess, like many lizards, the ability to drop and regrow their tails. This species is extremely active. It requires plenty of spaces to run, climb, and even jump. They love to jump. Therefore, when considering an enclosure, go tall over long. Lots of vines are recommended like shown here. Make sure your long tail has a basking spot that is in a good area. They love to bask as much as they love playing and hunting. For heating and lighting, because this animal is diurnal, both spectrums of UV, both A and B, are needed. If you dare lack UVB lighting, make sure your long tail is getting prey dusted with calcium, including D3, so they can metabolize the calcium. Your basking spot should reach about 95 degrees, whereas the cool areas you need to provide as well should only reach about 75 to 80 degrees. Their environment should be kept quite humid, so miss their terrarium two times daily. Long tails dine on small insects. In captivity, they can be raised on crickets. However, just crickets is not recommended. You should provide your long tail mealworms and waxworms as well. They also love gnats. Our first video actually shows him hunting out gnats. Experts believe their hand-waving behavior shown in that video to be a means of communication. However, we've seen ours doing it to root out insects like the gnats previously mentioned. You should regularly, but not daily, dust your long tail's prey with vitamin and calcium powder. Don't use calcium with D3 if using UVB lighting. They typically aren't hatched, used to drinking from a dish, but we'll learn to use one and ours drinks from it regularly. At this point, you're watching him eat a cricket. These lizards don't seem to like cricket legs. They will pick off the parts they don't want and eat the rest. They swallow their prey whole like many reptiles, so make sure you don't offer prey that's too large. These lizards make excellent terrarium additions, as well as first pet lizards. They are compatible with different tank mates, but especially with frogs. Adults have largely overlooked this fun and fascinating species, and to their loss. Children seem to be the only ones paying them their due respects. How you care for your long tail is going to determine its health, activity levels, and even lifespan. So please, do your best to give your long tail what it needs. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, long tails, their tails are actually prehensile. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Become part of our growing TASA family. We'd love to have you, and we have a lot of fun here. Much love and blessed be.